here, all of you are able to see Adi Yogi's face. When we started designing him, what I wanted was stillness, exuberance and intoxication. All three of them, I don't know to what extent we have succeeded, you must tell me. <laughs> of all these qualities of exuberance and drunkenness, the most important thing is stillness. If you become absolutely still, which means you came to a place where you are not in touch with your physicality, the definition of your body which makes you a male or female, the definition of your body which makes you whether you are alive or dead, the definition of your body which decides whether you are healthy or unhealthy. If you lose touch with that, even for a moment, you will come to an enormous sense of stillness. So if you become still like this, you do not know Shiva, but you have become that. So the aspiration is not to owe Shiva, the aspiration is to become one. This is not a culture where our aspiration is to go to heaven and sit on right side or left side of God. We have no such aspirations. We know sitting next to God or even sitting on His lap, we will get bored. So we seek liberation. <laughs> liberation means the only binding there is, is the physical existence of who we are, which also includes our psychological structure. Not much of a bondage really if you know how to handle it. For this you have to sit still. You just have to learn to sit still, absolutely. If you do that, then everything that's worth knowing is yours, nobody can deny it to you. The simple way to approach your stillness is just uh, on this Mahashivaratri night, by your choice, don't tell anybody, by yourself, you pick something that you're compulsive about and see if you can just keep it away. Maybe it's food, maybe it's sleep, maybe it's clothing, maybe it's sexuality, maybe anything. Whatever you're compulsive about, just pick one thing and see if you can just keep it aside. If you just do something as simple as that, you will notice Stillness will begin to happen to you by its own nature.